What's up guys, First Hand Account here with another video and today we're going to be talking about my night photography settings that I use on my Leica Q when I go out and shoot night photos. So a few months ago I made a video called 3 Tips to Take Better Night Photos with the Leica Q. I took you guys along with me to work on a series called A Dying Light that I've been working on for a couple years. It documents Christmas lights displays dying out in Minnesota and it will be a photo book as well so stay tuned for that. If you guys want to purchase it, it would help me out a lot and I would appreciate it a ton. So I got a comment on that video asking me to go over my night photography settings that I use on my Leica Q when I go out and take these photos. So the first thing that I do to my Leica Q before I head out and take some night photos is to go into the settings and go under the OIS setting. So OIS is optical image stabilization. It's built into a lot of different cameras nowadays but the Leica Q was one of the first mirrorless cameras to have it and basically what it does is it shows shifts the sensor around physically inside the camera to compensate for any camera shake that you might get when you're hand holding your camera and you're taking photos at night where you have to keep the shutter speed really low to try to get as much light in the sensor as possible. This is really difficult to do if you don't have a stabilized lens or a stabilized sensor. The Leica Q doesn't have lens stabilization but it does have sensor stabilization and the sensor stabilization allows you to take photos at one eighth of a second, one fifteenth of a second without a tripod and you don't get that camera shake that most cameras will get that don't have either kinds of these stabilization methods. The optical image stabilization isn't perfect but if you take multiple photos eventually you will get a perfect one and that is the same technique that I used on my series and the same technique I use for every night photo that I've taken that is of a subject that isn't moving. So the next thing that I do with my Leica Q is I I set the aperture as wide open as possible so I try to use f1.7 if I can if not then I try to use f2 or f2.8 and I don't really like to go past f2.8 because then the shutter gets very very slow or the ISO gets really really high fortunately the Leica Q lens goes all the way up to f1.7 which is an extremely wide open aperture that allows a ton of light to come into the camera and when you're taking photos at night I recommend using the most open aperture that you can on the Leica Q which is 1.7. If you need to go down a little bit because not everything in the photo is in focus that you want to be in focus, I recommend only going down to about f2.8. For me f2.8 is the cutoff point when I'm taking photos at night. If you're taking photos at sunset or blue hour then you can get away with a lot of different apertures and not get the ISO too high but I recommend using f1.7 to f2.8 point eight if you're photographing at night and there absolutely is no lights at all except for maybe some street lights or some lights that are outside of houses. So the last setting that I change on my Leica Q is actually the most important setting for getting really clean and really visually pleasing night photos and that is the ISO itself. I try to stay at about ISO 800. Sometimes I'll go up to ISO 1600 if it's really 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 dark but if you're using a really wide open aperture like f1.7 and you're using the optical image stabilization to get a handheld shutter speed at about one fourth of a second, one eighth of a second, one fifteenth of a second even, you shouldn't need to go above ISO 800 or ISO 1600. If you are needing to go above that ISO and the scene is really really dark and you still can't see anything, at that point I would recommend using a tripod or using some kind of light to try to supplement and try to brighten that scene a little bit but personally I found that ISO 800 is the sweet spot for night photography whether I'm shooting in downtown and I'm shooting street photography or I'm shooting around neighborhoods and working on my night photography series. The ISO is the setting that is going to determine how clean your night photos are and how little noise they have. The higher ISO you use the more noise is going to be in the image and the more unpleasant it's going to look in the shadows themselves. ISO 
800 has been working perfectly for me for most situations and that is the ISO that I personally would recommend if you're shooting photos at night. Now night photography is my absolute favorite thing to photograph and I have taken thousands and thousands of photos at night when there is barely any light and I found that ISO 800 or ISO 1600 seem to be the cleanest ISOs when you're getting up to the higher ISOs in the Leica Q. ISO 3200 and 6400 look beautiful, but I think in some situations where it's extremely dark in the shadows, it can produce a visually not pleasing grain in the shadows. I recommend kind of switching those photos to black and white where the grain looks a lot more natural and a lot more filmic and doesn't look as digital as it does in the color photos. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope it was helpful to everyone who has a Leica Q and has been struggling to get the right settings when they're trying to shoot photos at night. Like I said earlier, I got a comment on one of my videos to go over these settings and I hope it was helpful. If you're new to the channel, my name is Tyler. I go by firsthand account on Instagram and I also have another account called firsthand moments, which is kind of an unfiltered view into my life. I make videos about Leica cameras, street photography and fine art photography. So if you're into any of those things, please hit subscribe down below and remember to click the bell so that you guys get notified every time I upload a new video. I'm gonna be trying to upload a lot more often now. I've been getting a lot of positive feedback and a lot of new subscribers lately so I'm really gonna go all in on this YouTube thing and I really hope you guys enjoy the content that I'm gonna produce as always I hope you guys are having a good one peace